Hiya guys, Quick Keyboard Tips is my new short video series in which I explain to new and old keyboard fans about why you should care about what you're typing on. In today's QKT I will explain what a mechanical keyboard is and why you need one today. But first let's have a look at what sort of keyboard you're probably using right now. Virtually all modern keyboards work using a rubber mat with springy domes on them. They're referred to as rubber domes and feel mushy and spongy. You need to press the keys down all the way in order to register each key press. So many users tend to really hammer their keyboard, which is obviously not great for you or the keyboard. So why do all our keyboards use rubber domes if they're so shitty? Well, it's because they're really cheap to make, but crappy rubber domes aren't your only option. The alternative is a mechanical keyboard where a much more developed mechanism registers the key presses. Generally, there's a small separate switch for each and every key, so over 100 switches in total. Oftentimes, a single mechanical switch consists of more parts than the switching assembly in an entire rubber dome keyboard. They also last for tens of millions or even billions of key presses per switch. I've many mechanical keyboards lying around here that are 20 or 30 years old, and most of them still work admirably. Moreover, the boards themselves are generally way tougher and more solid. Listen to this. The key feels cleaner and sharper, and doesn't have a spongy feel like the rubber dome. I'm not overstating how much more satisfying it is to type on a mechanical keyboard. It's like using a smartphone. You just don't know how good it is until you try it. Furthermore, they're registered partway down the key press, so you don't have to hammer the keys, which means it's more relaxing to type or play games on them. Some are even developed specifically to give optimal key feel and feedback to typists, or to make gaming faster and smoother. So I'm making a whole series of these QKT videos to walk you through the world of mechanical keyboards, and hopefully help you find the right one for you. So join me next time for the second QKT video, where I explain the three different categories of switches, clicky, tactile, and linear. See you next time, guys. Oh.